Hello everyone. Uh, I hope you are uh, warm, staying warm and safe. Uh, today I just am going to uh, present to you a new lesson on uh, the body parts in Amharic, and uh, here we go. Uh, the body parts yeso net kvloch in Amharic they are called yeso net kvloch. So net is uh, body and park floch is parts. Uh, so yes, so nets. So you have the Amharic word, the Amharic um, uh, word, words. I mean, uh, the Amharic name, and then you have the translate. I mean, the pronunciation, and you have the translation, the body parts. And the, the, each body part is presented in the same way, uh, with um, uh, the pronunciation and the word itself and the translation. So let's just start um, with those on the left for us, uh, you and I, it will be on the left, but for the boy on the picture, it will be the right hand side. So the first one is hate. Uh, ras, ras, ras. Ear, joro. Joro, joro. Chin, agech, agech, agech. So agech, it's not agechi, chi. Um, Amharic has many sounds that never exist in English. And because, because of this, I strongly advise my students to uh, I strongly advise my students to learn the Amharic alphabet first. Um, the Amharic alphabet has about 37 base letters and for learners that may uh, feel something cumbersome, but whatever it takes, you should study that first because the reward is really uh, great uh, because in English you have 26 letters, but the sound system is more than 46. I mean, the phonetic alphabets, the phonetic alphabet or the sounds, the number of sounds in English um, is more than 46 uh, because one letter may have uh, several sounds when it comes or when it is used in different words. But Amharic is not like that. The alphabet teaches you everything, like the, the whole sound system. The alphabet is the whole sound system. And because of that, every sound, every letter, uh, every individual letter represents an individual sound, a respective uh, individual sound. And as a result, Whatever you see written, you can read it, uh, depending on how you, how much you practice. Like uh, you may not read it outright, like the, a native speaker can read it fluently, but you can re um, you can you can count the letters. You can uh, sound out the letters. For example, you can say ra s, so ras. The native may may read it. We may read it as ras. Uh, just uh, um, fluently and quickly, that you may count ra s, ras, jo ro, a g c, agaj. So please, please study um, the Amharic alphabet. Actually, I will um, upload new lessons. Uh, my first uh, videos, like a few of uh, my first videos. Um, uploaded on YouTube are on the alphabet, but I still would like to make another, uh, other videos on the alphabet with a different way of teaching them, different from what I already uploaded. Uh, I am now using a new method of teaching the alphabet. That, and I found it that more uh, interesting, more, uh, uh, I mean, uh, simpler, easier for the learner. Okay. So let's continue. It's not agechi, it's agech. Agech. Takasha, 
shoulder, tikasha, tikasha, tikasha. Arm, kind, kind, kind. Hand, edge, edge, edge. Thigh, chin, again it's not chin, 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 chin. Leg, agir, agir, agir. Uh, agir actually is the, for the whole body part, including the foot. Uh, this what um, is what the arrow shows here the, is uh, called uh, kilton, uh, kilton, uh, which is shin in in English. S H I N, S H I N. Uh, Kurchim chemit, kurchim chemit is ankle, a n k l, a n k l e, ankle. Kur in Amharic, kurchim chemit. It sounds like a funny word because it repeats uh, some of the a couple of the the sounds like chi and me. Kurchim chemit, kurchim chemit. Um, as I said, you can uh, sound out the letters um, and it's a less frequently named or used uh, body part, like I mentioned body part is not uh, uh, unless we get some uh, hurt or uh, we get a, an accident injury on, on our ankle, we don't mention our ankle frequently as we do our hands uh, or our eyes and nose, mouth, especially this time because of COVID, cover your mouth and nose, we say every time. Okay, so um, let's see the, the list, the last one on, on the side. Yegir Tatoch, the toes. Yegir Tatoch. Yegir Tatoch. So again, ta is an, a sound that uh, doesn't exist in English. Um, so literally, yegrtat, which means uh, fingers of the, the foot, fingers of the foot. Um, let's, let's come uh, to the right side for us and the uh, left side for the boy on the picture. So it's agur, it's agur hair. It's agur, again, it's not tesagur, T-S-E is uh, meant to represent the T-S-E-R mean to represent the Amharic sound tse, tse, like the birds, tse, tse, the bird song. So um, some birds uh, sing like tse, 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 tse. so tse, tse, gur, tse, gur. Ein, 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 ai. Afencha, afencha, afencha. It's not afencha, it is afencha, nose. Af, Af, right here, af. Af, you find it's just the first half of the word af and cha, the, fir the first two sounds in the word af and cha. So af and na af and cha, af and na af and cha, af and na af and cha. In Amharic, we just say af and na af and cha. Uh, um, so they sound almost the same, af. So it's easy to remember, af and cha, af. Um, and this one confer, uh, which is uh, uh, at the same place as af, confer, confer, leap. Uh, this it's um, I gave most of the body parts in singular because um, changing nouns uh, from singular to plural uh, is another lesson. I mean, how to change singular nouns to plural, uh, or how do you uh, form the, the plural form of uh, a noun, for example, joro or I, how do you say eyes, ears, or lips? Um, that will be a different lesson because generally there is a rule for uh, changing singular nouns to their um, to plural in, in Amharic. Um, so except it at which or the fingers, uh, the rest of the body parts are given in, in their singular forms, just one of one of the two, or um, we don't have any more than two. Do I have? Do we have any other than fingers? We just have two, okay. 
two knees and two um, hands, two eyes, two ears, uh, and so on. So we are just kind of um, made up of two. Um, okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, so we are right here. Confer, confer is leap. Uh, and uh, next to uh, that is um, Anget. 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 Neck. Um, Deret. 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 Chest. Hodge. 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 Belly or stomach. Auratat, 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 it's not Auratat, it is Tat, Auratat, Tam. Yej, Tatuch, Tatuch, Yej Tatuch, or simply we, we say Tatuch, Yej Tatuch, fingers. And it, it literally it means fingers of the hand, we say. But Tatuch, we don't say Yejit uh, Atin. We uh, here just is for you to differentiate from Yegrit Atuch. Otherwise, we don't say Yejit Atin Amamin or uh, I hurt my uh, hand finger. We don't say like that even in Amharic. We say Tatin Amamin or Tatin Korat Kut. Tatin Fajin. We say I hurt my finger. Uh, so Yej is just to uh, show that uh, the comparison uh, or the differentiation uh, between Yegretatuch, um, Yegretatuch, But we usually address that in. So, Yegret, no Yej, and we say, is it your hand finger or uh, foot finger? So, Yej um, Tatuch. Uh, and when you say Yej Tatuch, it's very general, it includes the um, thumb too. The thumb is also a finger. Um, next, gulbet. Gulbet, knee. Gulbet, knee. Um, and uh, as I said, the plural will be a different thing, so we'll, we'll just come back um, to give some more examples on how, from the body parts uh, when we do uh, polarizing or changing nouns from singular to plural. Um, so that will be a different lesson. And next is chama. Chama is foot. Um, chama. It's not chama, it is chama. But here, let me just take a couple of seconds to again uh, explain uh, here what chama can. Um, practically mean. Chama uh, refers to also shoes. Chama shoe or chama shoes. So the shoes we wear, uh, uh, we wear, uh, we, we call them chama. And um, the body parts chama, uh, the foot, is mostly addressed as igr in Amharic. Igr. So if you uh, stumble or uh, trip over something and you hurt your 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 uh, foot, you say a grain a grain met out or a grain in kafat met a grain am um, So a gir is more uh, address. Um, I mean, is also used to refer to the foot part um, and generally to the whole limb. Um, and the last uh, here on the picture, the last label is Tarakas, Tarakas, Tarakas. The same thing is uh, the same thing. Um, Tarakas works also in the same thing in the same way as Chama. Uh, it can refer to the heel of a shoe. Uh, when you hear Tarakas Chama, you can say a heel, uh, heeled shoe, um, or a shoe shoe heel. So yeah, terakas chama or terakas yallo chama, uh, a shoe or shoes that have heels. Mm, okay, so um, as I said earlier, this is a uh, um, very clear lesson and I, and I hope you like it because uh, you have the word, you have the pronunciation and you have the translation. And the picture is also another clue.
the picture is another clue. So what you have to do is study, uh, watch this video, and when you finish it, stop it and go to the mirror, uh, go to in front of a mirror, and and try to recite saying Zagur, Ras, Af, Afincha, Ain, Joro, and if you just can't remember or recite, for example, Gunchil uh, or Chin, and then you write Chin. Uh, you just take a, a pencil uh, or a pen and uh, a piece of paper or a notebook and write what you could not remember. And uh, that way, uh, you let's say you remembered like 60% um, um, and you could not re remember 40% of these. So you write those 40% words like uh, or body parts and come back and study the video. <coughs> okay, that's all about uh, the body parts. Please subscribe, um, like and share the videos. And also please comment, let me know your um, opinions, your uh, feedback, and that will encourage me to um, upload more lessons and to modify my lessons as well. Okay. Um, thank you so much and that's all. See you with my next video and stay warm and safe.